Uh, yeah, today we're gonna make some strawberry ice cream. And um, uh, if you don't have an ice cream machine at home, um, don't make this because it won't work. All right, guys, so this is everything you're gonna need for your strawberry ice cream, basically, except uh, an ice cream machine. And uh, if you don't have that, I'm sorry, I can't help you. So here is 700 grams of hulled strawberries that I've just sliced in half, or if they were bigger, I sliced them about quarters or thirds. This is 200 grams of whole milk, 200 grams of heavy cream. This is 50 grams of corn syrup, this is 150 grams of granulated sugar. That is half a vanilla pod, not a whole vanilla pod. I think that would be too strong for this. And of course the egg yolks. Uh, very little egg yolks because this is a large amount of fruit for this size of a ice cream. So it's it looks like a lot, but it, it'll come together, I promise. So I put the just... strawberries in a small saucepan. I'm going to add the glucose or the corn syrup. And then uh, we're going to let this cook down for about, I want to say, you know, 15 or 20 minutes. There's no real time. It's basically when they've reduced to the point that they're sweet enough for the ice cream. So it's, it's all about taste, you know, like people think baking, oh, it's just, you know, everything's exact. It's the exact. No, like you have to taste your food. It's important. So anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna get a little spatula and then be right back. So our strawberries have been cooking down for about, you know, 18 or 20 minutes. Uh, and that's about what you want, you know. You don't want them completely mush, but... So we're gonna turn off the heat and uh, we're gonna take this off the heat. And we're gonna let that cool. And in the meantime, we're gonna make our creme anglaise. Well, I just put our cream and our milk mixture onto the heat, and uh, we're going to bring that to just boiling point. And then we are going to, in the meantime, mix our sugar with our egg yolks. Whisk immediately, because if not, they will form lumps, and that's not what you want. Uh, so yeah, that is what uh, scalded cream looks like. And uh, this is where people usually think oh I got a minute and then walk away and it's all over the stove but uh, this is where I turn it off and uh, take it off the heat and uh, I'll bring it to my eggs so this is about what you're looking for with the eggs you know uh, about doubled in size uh, very light well much lighter and um, velvety uh, you're looking for a velvety texture you know like that that's called a ribbon that's what you want uh, and that's how you know you've done it right. Uh, so I'm just going to slowly add in some of my cream. Very lightly and gently because I don't want to spill it. And then you want to stir immediately at this point. Because if not, you will cook your eggs. And uh, you will be having a sweet scrambled egg instead of ice cream. So I'm just going to temper in this slowly. Um, I'm doing this with a lot of confidence because I have done this many, many times and I'm not worried. So, um, yeah, just going to mix that together. At this point, you can basically uh, return it back to the pan. So I've just returned the uh, creme anglaise back to the pan and uh, I'm going to very lightly uh, heat it now, gently heat it, and uh, we're going to um, stir it with a spatula or a wooden spoon, a preferably a spatula because we're not in 1977 anymore. So you just stir this and uh, it'll become far, far thicker very, very quickly. And uh, basically when you know it's starting to turn, in my opinion, to more of a custard is when these bubbles up here are gone. When you can just see that yellow stuff down there, that means that your creme anglaise is emulsifying. So, there you go. What I'm gonna do is I am going to cool this down and then I'm going to puree it with the strawberries. And then we're going to strain it all together. And then we have some amazing strawberry ice cream base. So, what I'm gonna do now 
Uh, and I highly recommend that you purchase one of these because it is the most useful tool in a home kitchen, uh, an immersion blender. So I'm just going to blend this uh, strawberry and into a puree and then I'm going to add it to the creme anglaise, emulsify it, strain it, and then we're going to freeze it and have some delicious strawberry ice cream. And how easy was that? Beautiful. So I kind of made an executive decision. Um, I actually decided not to puree the strawberry into the creme anglaise and kind of just, I pureed it and then strained it and now I'm going to emulsify it so there's no loss of flavor. The, the seed flavor isn't gonna emulsify with the cream. So we're gonna make some ice cream. So I'm just gonna emulsify this real quickly. All right, and that's, that's our base for our ice cream. And uh, I'm just gonna transfer it to the freezer and uh, I'll show you guys uh, when it's done. And there we go. All right, I'm just going to transport this to a container and then uh, once it's frozen I will taste some of it for you and probably make a little dessert. All right guys, I'm just going to plate a little dessert for you tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start off. This is um, strawberry that's been uh, marinating in lemongrass syrup. Slices of fresh strawberry. And then um, we just have some uh, Chantilly. I have some just uh, strawberry that's been uh, coated with a bit of just simple syrup. Raspberries, mostly for color and well, flavor. Small diced um, strawberries. A little bit of white chocolate just over the raspberries. We will finish with the star of the show. A couple more berries for garnish.
ends at the table. Raspberry cooler.